Lights go green and we go racing. Good start from Tony Lynch off the front row of the grid. Great launch also though from the back for the number 74 of Terry Moore. He goes through in the Austin Mini into the race lead. So despite not racing here today, he is proving to be emphatically quick. Rig old moment though for Tony Lynch coming through. Jess and Striff just going up that dab of opposite lock through there. And he though has lost time as a result of that to Terry Moore. So it is now Moore with a clear advantage in front and nothing really to worry about from behind. And Moore will be hoping that clutch out at hold out. That's the only real concern for Terry. All the work that's gone into it today just to ensure that the 74 Mini can get to the flag in a five lap final for the Retros. The old cars don't want too much hard time over the full six lap distance. They run over the five lap schedule for the up to 1600cc category and Tony Lynch in the MR2. That mistake at Chessons really has cost him time as Rob Buckmaster goes, launches into the chicane chased by Simon Hart in the Escort. Yeah, Rob Buckmaster has been uh, making steady improvements over the course of today in the Retro Championship and good to see him out there in that Mark 1 uh, Fiesta as well. He's coming under ever-increasing pressure, though, for third position from Simon Hart and that is going to be a nice little battle that takes place to see whether Hart is going to be able to find his way through. We look, though, at the leader as we come up the hill in towards the... Uh, top of the hill and into the north bend but Simon Hart is really putting the pressure now onto Rob Buckmaster side by side they go at the top of Harry Hill and into the north bend Hart going for the wider line through there so it's front wheel drive versus rear wheel drive and Simon Hart is really putting the pressure on bit of smoke coming from the back there of Rob Buckmaster's car hopefully that's not technical problems rearing their ugly head and Hart is up the inside Buckmaster holds it around the outside they run side by side over the gravel over the curb we go Hart backs out at the last moment gets a big old tank slapper on going through there and more smoke coming out but at the front we've got a change of lead because Tony Lynch has taken over at the front from Terry Moore. Tony Lynch good move at Chesson's Drift. Terry Moore just looked slow on that last lap and Lynch in the MR2 back on terms and passes the Mini as the MR2 gets a big armful of opposite lock coming out to the Devil's Elbow and little Mini of Astrid's Terry Moore is going to try right around the outside. He loves that passing place up at the North Bend hairpin and he pulls another move at the very top of the circuit. Chopping the nose off there of Tony Lynch was Terry Moore. Great driving indeed from the number 74, proving why he is such a fan favourite here today at Lyndon Hill for round two of the Five Nations British Rallycross Championship. As we had, of course, with the Group B and four-wheel drive finals, no joke laps. We run them akin to what we'd have had back in the day. Look at Tony Lynch, a bold move around the outside there. Was there contact between the 74 of Terry Moore going through the first corner of Chesson's Drift? But Lynch with an emphatic turn of speed going into that first corner, and he takes takes over at the front once again. Penultimate lap there, Ninchy's never afraid of getting his elbows out. He showed that at Chessons, but this is where Terry Moore is strong. Up Harry Hill into North Bend Hairpin. He stands on the brakes in number 74 and he does it again. Chops the nose again for a second time in two laps and Terry Moore is back through. It's going to be a grandstand finish with just a mile and a quarter or so to go. Well, this is brilliant. Two cars from two completely different eras and some great racing action here at Lyndon Hill in the retro final. Brilliant to see them represented so well. Tony Lynch getting a bit wide through that final corner. That will have cost him time and potentially thwarted his favourite overtaking opportunity into Chetons. He closes up on the brakes onto the back of the Austin Mini of Terry Moore, but he's going to have to be really aggressive indeed coming out of Chetons Drift and into the Devil's Elbow if he's going to be able to find his way past. Tony Moore, Terry Moore has got enough of an advantage. Tony Lynch there is really trying to close that gap down, but it's just going to be a bit of a day late and a dollar short, sadly, for the number 14 by the looks of things. Terry Moore has got this one covered as he comes into the North Bend for the final time. A great race here for the number 74. The windscreen wiper goes as he comes down the Harry Hill in towards the paddock bend for the final time of asking and Terry Moore, well we've hardly seen him all day here at Lyndon Hill but he comes over the line to take the win in the final for the Retro Rallycross Championship.